next question. your leadership style uh, when you were in NTUC Income and if anybody from uh, your, your past colleagues or somebody that's from NTUC Income has stepped forward to help you in this campaign. <coughs> now my uh, leadership style is based upon my personal values. I want to be honest, I want to be fair, I want to be positive and I also uh, serve NTUC Income uh, as a public service, so I didn't get as much salary as other CEOs, but that's fine with me. Uh, and also have the courage. So in NTUC Income, uh, you find that uh, we are quite courageous in doing things differently from other people. Now, the colleagues that work with me, most of them share these values. Now, some people say they are yes men. I think that's very unfair. Uh, they, they work with me because they share the same values. Even uh, those who joined, who come from the commercial sector, uh, at first they think their goal is to make the maximum profit for the company. And I say, no, uh, we have to be fair. Uh, we have customers. You can make profit, but you must also take care of your customers. So after a while, they say, uh, Mr. Tan, that's a much better set of values. Our work becomes more meaningful. Yes, we make profit, but we also take care of the customers. So these are the values uh, that uh, I, uh, I introduced uh, in my decision making. And NTUC Income was quite an innovative organization, uh, partly because I say, let's be positive. So I'm not too worried about failures. Uh, I look at what can be done, not what cannot be done. Uh, though, so we are innovative. Uh, yes, uh, who are my colleagues helping me? Uh, they are Freddie Neal. Uh, he was uh, running the general insurance department. Uh, he's a lawyer. Uh, and then uh, Anthony Chia uh, and uh, Peter Ng. Uh, I do get uh, many colleagues. Uh, uh, yes, uh, VJ. Uh, I got uh, VJ. Uh, okay, the handsome Indian man. <laughs> okay, so I do get many colleagues coming forward and. Uh, I think they, they know me, they know what I stand for, uh, and, they, and they come forward. In fact, I must say that uh, besides Go Ming Sing, uh, who first broke the idea uh, for me to contest, the other person that encouraged me is Freddie Neal, uh, because uh, he said, uh, Mr. Tan, uh, run for election. Uh, don't, uh, uh, don't allow a walkover. And I told Freddie, uh, okay, if you want me to run, you must promise to take care of the legal matters. <laughs> and that's why he has to take leave off today and uh, other times. Uh, so, uh, so I do get the support of uh, many people that I appreciate very much. Convinced? Any more? <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, let me uh, then uh, make a closing statement to the people of Singapore. On polling day, later this month or next month, you have to make a very important decision. Uh, what is it that you want for the future of Singapore? And who you think will be the person that will best reflect your aspirations and uh, uh, your needs and I offer uh, myself in the service of our beloved country uh, Singapore and I want uh, to introduce you to this uh, uh, this image on the screen uh, it's done by my daughter uh, she makes this image and uh, she tells me that uh, uh, this is Tan Kim Lian looking forward to the future uh, with hope and confidence uh, and thinking very hard how to make life better for the people of Singapore. So I, I, I leave this with you, this image, and I hope that uh, the people of Singapore will uh, like uh, what I can offer and give me your support. Thank you.